what's going on guys retail here have a wonderful day i'm going to be for you guys this is how to add ps1 games on your trim ui smart pro now these are multi disc games that you're going to be adding on so i'm going to show you guys quickly what we have on here so far and then we're going to add in a single game now that has i think two discs yeah so we are adding in alone in the dark the new nightmare i've never played it before honestly but uh, we do only have 20 games here as you can see it's not on here okay so go ahead and power off your device we're going to put the micro sd card into our pc with a micro sd card reader or an sd card reader with an adapter so go ahead put that micro sd in there and i'll see you guys on the computer all right guys so we are on the site here vim which is linked down below in the description guys i can't show too too much of this but very very quickly you can see that there's disc one and disc two go ahead and download both of those all right make yourself a folder where it has the game you're going to have these right here let's go ahead now and extract them here because we do need those discs to be uh, shown here the folders right there you can see number one and two coming up here disc one and disc two will show up guys you're going to need another program called psx2 psp which is right here guys all right so now that we have these downloaded super simple super easy guys i'm going kind of quick i don't want this video to get taken down okay uh the yes to all so go ahead now you can see right here file one two three four five go ahead and import these very very quickly actually uh, you can see the ROMs on PS right here. They are PBP file format, which is why we're doing it this way, guys. So let's go back into PSX here. Click. Let's find our um, folder there. Let's see right here. Where is it? Where is it? Chrome downloads. Alone in the dark. Disk one. Let me see. Perfect open hit the drop down number two grab the track number two okay file three go now back one more to uh disc two grab that one number four grab that one all right output i'll put it to that same folder guys if you want to or i'll put it wherever honestly you want let me just grab that quickly on the left side here. You guys do not need to see all this, but I'm gonna show you right here. Alone in the dark, hit okay. Just hit convert. Now the program could crash guys, uh, it's an older program. It may not even tell you if it's done uh, converting and all that. So I'm going to speed this up here and we shall see what it's about. Let me go ahead and uh, reopen up that other folder right here just so we could see it. Perfect. All right, guys. So it's done here. This is it literally right here. It's a random name. However, you're going to see this right here. This is our game. Go ahead and rename it. So this was Alone in the Dark. Good. I should have capitalized it. It's, you know what? Let me capital. Let me capitalize it. Sorry, I'm trying to go like super quick, guys, because um, I got... I got a lot of videos taken down, so I don't want that to happen. However, you guys need to know exactly what's going on. Hit copy, go into that ROMs folder, look for PS, go ahead now and just paste that in there. All right, it's going to take a couple seconds here. It's 400 megabytes, just like everything else here. You can see 300, 131 megabytes, 200, 407. So it's going to take, uh, you know, like a minute or so. But guys, that is literally it. All right. If that was confusing at all, be sure to leave a comment down below. I can try to uh, do it a different way, but like I said, I really don't want this to get taken down. I'm trying to help you guys out, and YouTube does not like this, okay? YouTube does not like this type of content. I don't know why, but I'm posting it anyways, all right? So once that's in there, close it out. Close out everything, guys. Safely eject your SD card, all right? Your micro SD card, and I'll see you guys back on the Trim UI. All right, guys, we are back. Let's go ahead and take out our micro sd go ahead and put that bad boy back in there make sure it clicks perfect turn on your power good 
It's going to take... Oh, man. It's going to... I apologize about that. It's going to take a couple seconds here, guys, to boot up, of course. But it's going to work perfectly fine. Go ahead, hit your R button. There. Look for PS. I do have the volume off, as you can see. Sorry about this random cut there, guys. Uh, it said 20 games, but now it says 21. I forgot to show this. So you have to hit the menu button on the bottom left here and hit refresh ROMs. Uh, you might have to do it a couple times, you know, if necessary. Uh, make sure it does update. It may still say 20, but you can go ahead and, you know, hop in there. And as you can see, Alone in the Dark is there. Hit the A button, of course. Load in, and you will know if it works, guys, if you're going to see that Sony pop up there on the bottom left as well. We are now in the game multi-disc Alone in the Dark. I've actually never played this before. I mentioned that. So, yeah. We are working, guys. That's how you do it for the Trim UI. I have no audio, like I said. So, yeah, guys. That's it. Uh, super simple, super easy. Sorry I went very quick with that. I do apologize once again. I really did not want it to get taken down. But if you guys do have any questions, of course, let me know. Uh, if you did enjoy the video and it helped out, drop a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, guys. And I'm out. Have yourselves a fantastic day. Peace.